Okay, I am going to be testing my medieval mod. This will actually be a first playthrough when I already know many, many, many things are still left to do. So do not judge this book by its cover at all. I should probably hit start. Um, I'm going to use the default settings and see what happens. We do have a world up, we have a server up, um, we have the four biomes in, we have prefabs theoretically in, that's one of the things I'm going to be testing. We have entities, um, spawner blocks are not working correctly so houses will be empty, but uh, that should be fixed soon. Um, we're having some problems with the dedicated version of the horse, but Emu is on that as well. So we shall see what happens and see what progression is like. It's going to be vastly different than um, Vanilla, I hope. I think there's even some skills and perks and stuff like that set up, but I'm, I'm not 100% sure. Pull in the environment, getting kind of spooky. And again, I want to reiterate how far away we are. Um, if we busted ass, we could probably knock out a working version in a week, um, but it wouldn't be a whole lot to do, and it wouldn't be very fun. But So we went on to kind of do it more right. Well, it's actually still torn on that. Just in case I need them. Listen up. You've just been released, so don't go messing it up. Maybe you're innocent, maybe not. Either way, the Lord is dead, and you've been given a second chance. Go find yourself a weapon and make yourself useful. There's a war going on, and it's a fight for our very existence. For God's sakes, find some pants. Okay, so I start off. I'm nearer home. Check my video settings real quick. Um, because I want to make sure that I am as high as possible and everything. Works for me. Okay. Some corn. Um, food is going to be a lot more uh, accessible here. Like, you already got potato plant and corn, which is pretty much where I'm at. And one of the reasons for that is, I mean, in real life, there's plants all over the place. Plus, we don't want to have that be bogged down by that same old boring ass star for the first two days and then have plenty of food the rest of your career after that. Hopefully, we'll be able to get spoilage in book two. Uh, book two is where we're hedging a lot of our bets. 50 fibers. Um, there is actually a random chance when I'm punching this grass, I'm trying to see if I can get that to kick in, that I will get some other, uh, basically, weeds in that are going to become useful for, oops, for later um, recipes. So far, nothing. What the fuck is that? It's chrysanthemum. Okay. Look kind of weird though. Whatever. There are a variety of new plants in here, like that, for instance, nightshade. Um, there's wisteria, thyme, a bunch of other crap. So I got nightshade. There's some thyme right there, as a matter of fact. And I got that from punching the grass. Sometimes when you're grabbing for weeds, sometimes you get the, some random stuff. So there would be some things you won't actually have plants for. You'll just have to punch a lot of grass and hope you eventually get these plants for later. Uh, let's see, there's Feverfew and Thyme, and those are the two plants, as a matter of fact. So out of 144 fibers, I got one Thyme and two Feverfews. I picked up the Nightshade on my own and the Chrysanthemum on my own, you know, separate, so those don't count. So I, I think that's actually a pretty decent mix. Here's another plant, Wisteria. Hopefully the recipes are different enough. Let's see here. I need two more stones. You can see the, oops. Ooh, bird nest. Oh yeah, that's right. There, none of the loot containers, well, most of the loot containers aren't, aren't, aren't connected yet. That's going to be a real problem for collecting feathers. So I may have to cheat some of those in. But I have two different types of bird nest. I have a regular bird nest, bird's nest with eggs, because it seems to me that if you walk up on a bird nest, you should be able to see one another's eggs. 
So the ones with eggs have eggs. You'll see also that the uh, s small stones textures have all changed. So at least I won't initially starve. So I can't scrap it anymore. Yeah, no free more, no free metal. So because sleeper volumes do not use custom entities, we had to come up with a workaround for that. So we're using Morton latest Morton Talus, Morton. I just call him Mort. Um, his spawner blocks. Um, but they don't always work right inside, so we're still trying to track down why that is. At first, we thought it was because it, it's set up to not use player or you know can mob spawn on blocks and the blocks IDs, but I've already changed those to allow mobs to spawn on player place blocks. So, long story short, I will simulate what happens when you go into a home. Let's see, spawn and. NPC random. Anyway, let me get my rocks. You'll notice looking around, there's not a whole lot of trees. Don't expect to be able to just gather wood right off the bat. Ultimately, your recipes are going to be limited to what you could typically do as a human being in this time and century. A single person's not going to master concrete in three days by finding a book, so that's not going to happen here. Um, typically, the most you're going to be able to build is reinforced wood. Um, maybe some flagstone, cobblestone, much later on down the line, that's going to be your end game. To balance that, the creatures are not going to be able to punch through things like flagstone and, and stone very easily. Um, they'll be able to knock out doors pretty quickly because that would be pretty typical in a real scenario. They'll be able to uh, knock down you know, wood walls. Well, you will see I have a dip, my old UI. Um, this is my water, this is my food, time. Up here at the top is my compass, stamina, health. So in this particular home will be pretty well vetted against uh, intrusion because it's it's a stone, and they're gonna have a hard time getting through it. But okay, I built this and I should remember what I did. That. But the creatures will be able to come up here and punch this door pretty easily. So let me go ahead and simulate the uh, what's gonna happen. Oh, I got the. <laughs> now that's funny. I have like a one point oh one percent chance to spawn a horse. That's really really funny. How come I can't ride him? Oh, I can't ride him. So scrapping is apparently totally out. Oh wow, yeah, scrapping is just totally done. We need to fix that. Um, all right, so what was supposed to happen was you get like what? it's only spawning horses. That can't be good. So something I have to fix, obviously. It's not even the rideable kind of horses. It should be though. So yeah, it's the same kind of horse. Now something else to fix. Okay, I'm not going to be too worried about it then. I'm not sure why only horses are spawning. But what should happen is humans, and you have a random chance of different types of humans. Um, it could be... Oh, there's supposed to be stuff down here. I know I finished this out. But this is the wrong version of the prefab. Anyway, all sorts of errors I should probably be writing down, but... That's not what I'm here for. Anyway, um, you could be getting a human that just immediately wants to run away. Could be getting a human that, um, for whatever reason, just pretty much ignores you unless attacked. Could be getting a human that uh, immediately attacks you because they're inside their home. So that's what the random human spawn block is for. You just never know what you're going to get. Okay, so this is a little little inn. Okay. And again, no loot list. Inventory slots are really too big for that anyway. 
Wait, am I even done? I guess one was another floor here, but maybe not. So, all right. Um, fuck it. Let's just pretend I found a real horse. <gasps> Does that work? <gasps> That's, that's neat. The saddle thing's happening. <laughs> Where's regular take? So what's supposed to happen is um, you'll find horses, but you won't be able to do anything with them until you get a saddle. So, you know, you'll have to actually go and find a saddle. or make a saddle or whatever it may be before you can actually use a horse. Um, of course, saddle bags for inventory and whatnot. And I'm invisible. Eh, fuck it. Ooh, wait. Ooh, look, more houses. So they're spawning okay, you know, a lot going on here. Probably have a little bit too many crops. Definitely too much resources on the on the surface here. But we also don't want to dig a game either. We don't want to sit there and make people just sit there and dig and dig and dig and dig and dig. See so if we can make this jump. Yay. And if you click on like chrysanthemum recipes, you get some things. Um, nightshade recipes, you can get poison potion, fear few recipes, extra healing speed, a time recipes, extra stamina. So that's what we're working on here. How the fuck do you get in? Did I not build a door? Oh, here it is. And again, here's a nightstand. And again, I'm just going to start taking candles then. I'm going to have a... I think I want to have, like, if you hold a mug and you put it to a barrel, you'll be able to get liquid, that kind of thing. be kind of cool. Well, since the POIs are absent of any loot and any uh, people, yeah, there's no loot it's hooked up yet. Um, let's see where we're at. We should have been here at zero, zero, right? Let's ride west and see what happens. You know what? Take, 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 take. Since it's a long ride. Oh, I didn't like something. What just happened? Sharing violation. Hmm. Oops, don't want to be this far. Come on. Here we go. Let's just pretend I rode all this way. That was cool. It's got some math thing going on there. All right, just took him a second to settle. All right, so we were pretending we were heading west. Um, oh, it's gonna guide mode. Yeah, well, I forgot when you're guide mode, you actually get first person view. Go ahead and take a tree too. So I know I want a bow. Ooh, a church up there. I'm supposed to be coming across wandering guys too, but that hasn't happened yet. 
first thing I did is I got rid of level loot, by the way. So you're not going to be swimming in purples or anything right off the bat, but you're not going to have to be level 50 to get the purples either, like a fucking common retard in vanilla has to do. A motto is fuck vanilla. That's why a mod. Get it? Motto. Haha. <laughs> yes, I'm jumping. This looks like an interesting POI in the middle of nowhere. Probably need to give it another zone. This actually should be in the city. This is a church that's near my house. And again, in theory, you know, you'll have some spawns here. They'll be friendlier up here. When you go back here, not quite as friendly. I'll take that too. Well, what do we got? We got a alchemy bench. So this is where I can make potions and stuff. So, yeah, not too bad. Um, yeah. Anyway, there's more to explore in here. I don't want to spoil. I'll just pretend I explored it all. And again, no loot, because no loot is hooked up. Let's see, what would it take to make a bow? So I want to make a wooden bow, right? Wood and leather. That's right, wood and leather. Well, how do you get leather? Well, you got to figure that one out. You're going to have to loot it. I don't know what you're going to do. What you're not going to do is just easily find it. Oh, that's right, this little arrow doesn't point where we're heading right now. Let's see if we get him to stop shaking. <gasps> Ooh. Okay. Oh boy. Oops, he's gonna get me. Oh fuck. So, probably shouldn't have attacked a wild pig, wild boar like that. Life happens, apparently so does death. So the idea being, you can't just grab a bow right off the bat in the first five minutes of gameplay and just start plucking people away. You have to earn your stuff. Now, a lot more things are lootable, so if you're fighting a guy with a sword, you can get a sword. If you're fighting a guy with an axe, you're going to get an axe. Um, because that just makes more sense than just getting a fucking doorknob or some random ass shit like that. Uh, most things are going to be harvestable. A little bit more higher level because we need bone powder for some stuff and hoof powder so we'll be able to harvest and get that as well something breaking I don't know. I'll see anything breaking let's just see what happens this might be a very short video Well, something bad just happened. <laughs> So something bad is happening. Let's try this again. Um, 
Yeah, anyway. The fuck is it? There it is. Okay, I was able to get back in. The uh, getting back in part just took forever. Um, I'm going to pretend that I didn't die. Just for the sake of this video. You know, science. Let's put this here. And you know what? Here, here. And here for that. You can see off in the distance the uh, land is getting a little bit darker. What we got going on over here? Oh, cool. Seriously, what are you doing, horsey? Oh man, if I only had a bow, I could kill that deer and make a bow. Trying to bite him with the horse. Oh, wait, this version of the horse doesn't have the bite. And apparently, oh good, he should do the downhill thing. I like that. Emu was talking about uh, making it, if you're on a hill, having it constantly go backwards. Oh, it does have a bite, okay. Anyway, um, so that the horse is affected by gravity. I like the idea. Also, the bite only happens when you're stopped. If this is the animation or the action overall, let's see. I think it's the action overall. So I'm going to have to pretend that I got a bow. Um, this bow will work. And I have to pretend I get some arrows. Um, simply because where I'm going is a little on the danger side. I mean, I'm going to die anyway. Just matter of me showing what's going on. Yeah, there's a lot of resources up here. Can't wait for Alpha 17. The quest system will be in. The conversation system will be in. The uh, distance trees will be in. The block ID limit will be essentially removed. All right, yeah, these things need to pop up a little sooner. This is the dithered land. Stompy did a lot of dithering. Between the, what was the forest and the crystal biome, which was the desert. So forest is now human. Pine forest is orc. Desert is no desert is spooky. Yeah, desert is spooky. Uh, oh shit! Fuck you. Come get me, bro. Oh wait, I kind of actually want those. Burning zombie. Oh, no, I don't want you. You can fuck me up. Anyway. The idea with these crystals is you try to farm them. The problem with farming them is they're super, super tough. And if I remember right, now this, okay, this, this is not updated with my latest version. There's a buff on there that um, cuts you basically. What the hell is going on here? 
I'm stunned. The wild horse is not. All right. Too many roads. What the hell? So my computer is not powerful enough apparently to process the crystal spawning because they need to be. Uh, yeah, I'm going to get fucked up in a few minutes. Let's see if I can keep moving. All right, come at me, Russ. Shit, three of them? Yeah, I'm not going to last long. Yep. Where is my... Where is it go? My bandage. Ah, shit. Shit for him now? Yeah, I'm fucked. Did it hit you? Nope. This is a higher level area. I decided to enter at low levels. Because, I mean, why not? Let's get the fuck out of here. So these beasties here are like poor as far as their AI goes. They basically eat crystal all day. And if so if you attack them, they will fuck you up. But see those little yellow things? Those are actually feathers on the side of their um, bodies and they are going to be necessary for the magic arrows. So there's many reasons to come to the crystal biome. One is to gather the crystals so you can help stop spread the blight because that recipe requires... shit. <laughs> requires um crystals and the second is to uh, collect those feathers so you can make magic feathers should you so desire which yeah you're gonna want to desire to because they're awesome all right let's pretend that I made it out safely okay, I made it out safely uh, let's see how about here. Nope, oh, definitely not. Okay, so we made it out. Let's do the shake. Oh, snow. This is the first time I've seen snow in this game. That's all where it is. Ah, eh, fuck it. Let's just go. Boom! You see plenty of POIs to explore, and there is the haunted forest. So we're going to cheat. And we're going to say it's 2300. We're going to say we have a magic bow. An elven bow. Um, that'll work. And we're going to say we have magic arrows. Where, where's half my fucking icons? is not supposed to spawn here. Alright, what are you? No, for real. What are you? Oh, 
Spiders? I don't know. Yep, spiders. Yeah, I need to stop that. Ooh, goblins. The new goblins. A fucking dire wolf. Oh, I gotta remove that effect too. Yeah, okay. This is a probably a little lower level area to spawn in or to go to. Is that a shaman? It sure is. That's the goblin shaman over there. Still limited by a lot of TFP AI. Attacking me, I'm fucking right here. That should be fucking me up right now. Oh, fuck it. Let's find a cave. Well, that's kind of cool. So close. Get me out of here. Yay. That was kind of cool. So what made the goblins into pussies that don't attack me anymore? Because I was sure getting attacked earlier. Hi, how you doing? You gonna come attack me or you just gonna stand there? Seriously, what are you guys doing? <laughs> Uh, I don't know what's going on with the goblins, but they're, um, they need to do a little something more than that. Rose. The wolf attacked me. The goblins are not. I wonder what happened. Riding down the road to the spooky forest. Getting ignored by goblins. Alright, let's head to the land and see what happens. Let's see if this is basically someone eight thousand north. Oh, definitely not here. An 
odd feeling this is not set up correctly. Okay, so it must be like, this is where it's set. Yeah, okay. So at about 3,000 north, I guess. Let's pretend we have a horse. We're going to call him Twitchy. Okay, avoid those brambles. A little more inhospitable up here in the orc lands. So in terms of difficulty, humans is level one. Ooh, an actual orc spawn. Holy shit, orcs are spawning. Um, let's see if they actually attack. Humans difficulty is level one. Probably spooky level two. Yeah, I'm gonna get fucked up. Oops. Orc number three. What the hell is that? Uh, fuckers. Where's my damn horse at? Come on. Let's get the fuck out of here. Because I'm dying anyway because I don't have any first aid kits. <laughs> Well, I didn't get very far in the orc territories now, did I? Well, that's pretty much the only playthrough I'm going to do. Um, so pretty much, still a lot to work on, but the world is made. Prefabs are spawning mostly correctly. Got to get rid of those ones in the spooky forest, although one or two of those actually kind of cool. Um, Got to make the goblins attack, apparently. See what happened there. Um, add loot tables to pretty much everything, so things are lootable. And then... Skills Perks Quest. Then should be ready for release. Got a few like coding bugs to finish up too. Oh, I know what I was gonna do. Okay, I need to. F Why is that fucking arrow still there? I want to show you the blight. Uh, let's see. So I'm gonna place down a blight, and this is gonna be the whole premise of the whole thing, by the way. Um, Purge crystal. So what it is, is, let's see, let's call it, uh, get another elven bow. Some magic arrows. Right. Oh, nice. I gotta fix that. At least I know how to fix that. That's easy to fix. So anyway, what's gonna essentially happen is... These guys come. Um, Necro, Mancer Master. As they walk, you can see they drip stuff. What's happening is that right there. So, as he walks, he's spreading blight. This green stuff right here. So we want to kill him quickly. Even though he's got a shit ton of hit points. Remember, this is purposes only. So anyway, we gotta kill him quickly. Because this stuff is spreading. And this is the blight. This is the whole reason why we're here. Is as this stuff spreads, you'll see that things don't grow in it too well. Like when it hits a tree, that tree will turn into a dead tree. Um, all, sorts, all sorts of interesting things will happen. I'll give you a little fast forward. See how it's starting to spread? As it hits that tree, it should turn the tree into a like a deader version of the tree. That part does not seem to be working right now though. 
That's weird, because I've tested that before, and it worked great. Huh. All right, Stompy. Anyway, and then you go, you make some crystals, you find some shit, and then you press this, and then boom, switches everything back. See, no more blight. So you have the blight, and you have the crystal, which stops the spread of blight. But it takes a while to make those crystals, and you got to gather a shit ton of crystals from the crystal biome and do some other stuff. And then boom. So that's the whole premise, is that blight is spreading. So as you're getting wandering hordes of bad guys, those nasty fucks will be in it. And they're carrying around basically these things, which, you know, are kind of cool. And what I wanted them to do is I wanted them to place these things, and then when you destroy these, it stops the spread, but doesn't change the blocks, and then you still have to put a crystal down. But I don't know if that's going to happen. Anyway, that's the whole premise, though.